The world's densest living organism is right here in Utah, a clone of aspen trees called Pando. Researchers say it's in danger. Now for the first time, the Division of Wildlife Resources, their crews are collaring deer to see how they impact Pando. Fox 13 News reporter Lucy Nelson was at Fish Lake National Forest today and shows us why they say this research is crucial to keep the clone alive. Happening in the quiet of Fish Lake National Forest is a game of patience and precision. The hard thing about getting close to a deer is they don't want you to get close to them. Right? For hours on a hot July morning, Division of Wildlife Resource crews trying for this moment. Teams of veterinarians and specialists closely monitor the temporarily tranquilized doe as they try to put a tracking collar on before releasing her back into the forest. We don't know exactly how many deer are here, maybe 30 to 50 deer. Uh, so if we, we put out 10 collars, that's a pretty, pretty high proportion of the deer. So it's a good sample size. Wildlife biologist Vance Mumford says it's part of a statewide collaboration to research and protect the clone of aspen trees. In particular, we're studying the mule deer that are using the pando clone. Pando is believed to be one of the world's largest and most dense organisms at 13 million pounds. It spreads over 106 acres and consists of nearly 40,000 individual trees. This forest is really connected and it's primarily connected underground. The whole organism kind of functions as one being. Dr. Paul Rogers is the director of the Western Aspen Alliance at Utah State University and has been studying the clone for years. His research shows Pando is in danger. It's shrinking, but not as you might think, getting smaller from the outside, but shrinking from within. So you might say if it was a fabric, it's getting thinner and thinner. He says the deer are herded into the Pando area to avoid nearby recreation and fencing systems. As a result, they're eating many of the baby trees or new growth. And as time goes by, the old ones get older and die, but we're missing whole generations. So this here is where most likely a deer has browsed off the stem and the leaves last year, and so it stopped the growth. Mumford says this is why they're tracking the deer's movements. We hope it'll help us to make better management decisions in the future. Rogers saying their actions and research can spread to greater discoveries here in Utah and beyond, and hopefully keep Pando alive. There's some really important lessons and real high value for Aspen worldwide that we can be sort of a starting point right here at Pando, uh, learning about and applying elsewhere. In Fish Lake National Forest, Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah.